I've come out fossil hunting today and there is what looks to be a pretty fresh shale fall which has come down. It's quite a lot of it, lots of loose slabs. I'm hoping there's going to be some nice fossils there. Let's have a quick look around for some fossils here, then we'll head over to the fall. There's a couple of belemnite fossils here, just starting to be revealed by the sea. One right there and another here. You can see the belemnite guard and the fragma cone. There's also a couple of pretty poorly preserved ammonite fossils as well. One there, and one just over here. Pretty interesting this, we've got one ammonite, just the imprint left. And over here, got another ammonite preserved on top of a belemnite. Pretty interesting combination and a much smaller belemnite preserved just nearby. Quite a few interesting fossils, all just in the same area, all naturally being gradually eroded by the sea. We might as well have a little look through some of these pebbles as we're walking along to see the shale fall. All right, that nodule looks quite interesting. Uh, I didn't actually think we'd find anything in this little particular piece of the beach, but here we go. Wow. Looks like that's going to be a pretty nice tenucostatum or semi-salatum ammonite. We'll crack that open pretty soon. Let's have a look and see if we spot any others. Definitely know there's fossils around here now. There's a little ammonite, quite worn, but probably will be complete inside. And just up here, you can see another one as well. Wow, we've already found a fair few fossils. It's going well. Just stepped over here and literally spotted another pretty promising nodule. Can you see where it is? This one is right there. You can see the edge of another nice ammonite. Oh, look at that. There's two in this nodule preserved on top of each other. Very nice. Is there anything else before we move on? Can't really see anything else. Certainly nothing obvious around here found quite a few nice nodules there. It's going better than I thought it would. I also picked up a couple of extra nodules and I'll show you those now then we'll head over to the fall. Nothing too exciting but a couple of other ammonites that we missed just as we walked along. Now let's head over to the shale fall. Hopefully there's some more fossils waiting to be found.
Well, we're at the fall. Let's see if there's any fossils here. Of course, I don't know if anyone else has already had a look here. There might have been a lot of fossils, but they've already been taken. All I can do is look and see what we find. You can see the fall is majority shale, as we expected. Hopefully there might be a few nodules here. Something worthwhile picking up. You can see the imprint there where a nodule has been. And there's evidence over there of a nodule that someone else has opened up and has been completely empty. This one has had a phragmacone from a balamnite inside. I think there's probably been an ammonite fossil inside this rock, but it looks like it's broken. Either naturally or maybe someone's tried to get it out. Looks like it's been pretty fractured either way. Maybe we could potentially extract most of a fossil out of that. I'll give it a tap with the hammer in a little bit and we'll see. I wonder if this nodule will contain anything. Why don't we try and chip it out of this shale slab and see. Hard to know for sure, but it's worth a shot. already see there is going to be a fossil inside this probably a complete specimen as well Couple more taps. Let's have a look at it. Can't wait to tap this open with the hammer and chisel. It's been worth coming just for this. Hopefully it does actually open well and it's not gonna let us down. Well, I'm really impressed with this nodule. I'm hoping it's gonna open up very well. We've already got the really nice fossils from the pebbles and also this fossil here. Let's have a quick look for some more and then we'll open the ones up that we've already got. Let's open up our prize nodule. It's gonna be really exciting opening it up. Looks quite soft, quite eroded, but that should help us when we open it. Might open a little bit easier. And just as you saw, that opened incredibly easily. Moment of truth, let's have a look. Oh, okay, that's not too bad at all. It's not gone as perfect as we'd hoped. A little bit of this outer whirl has stuck onto the other side of the fossil. However, we've got a pretty nice specimen there. Once this little piece of limestone is removed from the center, the fossil will be pretty much perfect. So all in all, a nice fossil, which will look even better with some preparation. 
not too bad at all. We also found these two nodules, one of the first two that we picked up. And straight away see, this one's opened way better than the first one. Look at that. Now that one really is perfect. Really nice Dactylioceros tenucostata mammonite. I was going to crack this one open as well, however, given that there's two stacked on top of each other, I think it'll look much nicer having them prepared with the finer tools at home. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will, however these have the best chance. If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. There we have it. Got quite a few nice fossils today, and a couple of ammonites that opened up really nicely. I've also got a couple more ammonites, which I'll be cracking at home when I get back later on. Let's move on to the next part of the video. We're going to be having a look at four interesting fossils that my dad has recently prepared. Brought them down to the beach so we can have a good look at them. These are some interesting finds that we found over several fossil hunts. The first one here, as you can see, is some really lovely crocodile bones, including crocodile scutes and some of the fragments of bone which are hard to fully identify. There's also a few compressed ammonites preserved with it. Finding any sort of fossil crocodile bone is really rare. Finding a piece like this is so exciting. The next piece is some ichthyosaur teeth. Again, a really rare find to find so many together. Preparing the teeth is a particularly difficult challenge. You have to be very careful. My dad's done an excellent job here. The next bone we're not 100% sure what it is, potentially an ichthyus or clavicle or scapula. It could also be plesius or... I'll have to have a further look into it after making this video. The fourth fossil in this selection is a partial fossilised fish jaw with several teeth still in place. It's also preserved alongside several fossilised shells and an ammonite. At the furthest left and furthest right of the jaw, you can see a few of the teeth. Hard to know exactly what species of fish it's from, however it was a really nice find. Just to round off the video, I've got some scenery clips to show you. Have a nice sunset after one of our fossil hunts. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.